Enough is enough. A San Jose business owner is going public with his frustration over crime. Three burglaries this year alone, eight since his bar opened its doors. Now, owners of the Guildhouse say they didn't want to go public before over concerns that it might encourage more crime. But now they say that strategy isn't working. NBC Barry's Robert Honda has the video of the most recent burglary and found out this isn't the only shop that got hit. The Guildhouse is a popular gaming center here in downtown San Jose with about a thousand gamers showing up on busy nights. But it's also one of the businesses in the area getting burglarized constantly and they want something done about it. Owners of the Guildhouse on South First Street say they're frustrated and concerned about their future. The gaming lounge has suffered eight burglaries in two and a half years and three in the past four months. Earlier burglaries were on a smaller scale and some arrests were made, but the latest from March 26th, captured on security cameras, was the most brazen, with thieves cutting through the back entrance, breaking into the office, and literally wheeling away the company's safe on a dolly all while avoiding alarms and sensors. Well, I figure that they've probably done it before because they had the right tools and um, they made the right cuts in the right places. Despite all the burglaries, Guildhouse owners didn't talk publicly or post anything online until now, saying they didn't want potential thieves to see the business as vulnerable. But other neighboring businesses have also been hit. When I talked to uh, some of our other restaurant friends, they said that the exact same thing has happened to them. A team cuts through the back door with tools, takes the entire safe and leaves. So I think it is um, uh, planned and organized, yeah. The San Jose Downtown Business Association says it is working with the city and police to find solutions. Then, late this afternoon, the mayor and police chief showed up and vowed to help with more foot and bike patrols and hopefully future additional staffing. Making sure that we have the appropriate staffing levels to be able to have faster response times, more police presence, more community policing. I will be speaking with the investigators to make sure we're following any leads that could lead us to be able to identify these suspects. The Guildhouse owners say, of course, they hope the city will help, but they're also taking steps on their own, including reinforcing entrances and getting overnight security. In San Jose, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News.